All right, hey, I wanted to take you guys on a little tour of my new house, at least the front yard of it. Um, so what I'm gonna be doing is creating a landscape here, a desert landscape uh, that has all um, productive plants. So they're either gonna be uh, edible or medicinal um, or have some type of you know, um, pollination, um, uh, insect habitat um, kind of feature to them. So uh, everything's gonna be low water use. So hopefully we'll get a good amount of productivity out of the front yard spend much water on it um, before I move on to the backyard which can be a little more uh, luscious we'll just say and, and productive so uh, looking at the front yard here um, what I'm going to be doing is uh, utilizing something from Brad Lancaster um, that he uh, basically taught uh, rain rainwater harvesting and he's got uh, volumes or three different books and I got uh, the first and second one which uh, kind of get into the you know the basics and then into the earthworks uh, section of it so First thing that you gotta do is plant the water. So what we're um, doing is basically digging out um, kind of sections of the yard, reducing them down, and then we're raising up the areas where we're not gonna be having plants. So the walkway or the extended access way of the house is gonna be kind of leading out here, and then it's gonna be leading towards the front. So if someone wants to walk up from the front uh, of the house area, they can. And then uh, flip this camera around. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, but then we're subduing the areas right here where the plants are going to be. So, here we're going to basically be digging this out and we're going to be kind of mounding it up so that this area right here is going to capture a good amount of water. It's also going to be capturing a good amount of the water that falls off of the roof right here. It kind of lands down here and it's going to be running down. So, the, um, the main access way to the house is here. Uh, it's going to be kind of a walkway is going to be raised up and then we're subduing these areas down here so um, this walkway is also going to be extending in front of the house here and going around to the side yard so I have a nice little walkway to the side yard and then down this way so I have plenty of access in and around the house but this is going to allow for a good amount of runoff from these areas to spill over and then be captured inside of these what some would call retention basins but i'm going to call them growing basins so um, this is a uh, basically step one here um, the super basics of the design and um, after after this i'm going to probably take about three weeks to knock this out um, but hopefully i can get somewhere with it um, it's middle july right now or late july um, in Yuma, Arizona, and so you can imagine it's pretty hot out here. I'm out here pretty early, um, but hopefully we can get some stuff done. All right, it's about three weeks later from when I started, and uh, here you can see I dug out some low areas here, kind of got the dirt up higher on some spots. But what I did is I took a lot of the dirt into the backyard, um, so it basically allowed me to get some some nice low spots here. They're going to be able to capture any runoff from the uh, the house up there and so as you can see you know it's got a nice nice low spots here they're going to be able to um, have some large rock in it and also be able to catch some of the mulch that's uh, produced by the tree uh, leaf litter so uh, that's gonna be one of my main trees there in that hole um, but uh, what I had done I had blue stake come out here and uh, they marked where all the electrical lines are and uh, I came and marked in where I'm going to be trenching uh, to put in some irrigation line um, but uh, as you can see it's uh, came came along pretty nice here in the front yard um, but uh, let's, let's see if I can get down low and show you kind of the elevation here so as you can see if I was a drop of water I'd want to settle you know right down in there and it's one of the main low areas here. And once this fills up, then it's gonna drain, drain through here and continue on and flood this area here. Nice and shallow right here. And then if it fills up here, it can spill out two ways. It can spill out towards the street that way or in between the two mounds here and spill it that way. So there's plenty of uh, space for everything to drain out, but the main purpose of this is to capture the water 
And uh, what that's going to do, even though we only get about four inches of, water, of rain a year, um, it's going to help leach out some of the salts that build up from the irrigation. And uh, it's going to help uh, provide the main uh, water source for these desert plantings here. Uh, so we'll go in the backyard and uh, check that out. Alright, so we're here in the backyard right now, and as you can see, I don't know if you can tell or not, but there, right now I kind of carved out the space in the center here, and you got a high spot over on this side towards the wall, and you got a high spot towards the house over here. I'm going to smooth it out just a little bit, but what it's going to allow me to do is kind of create a basins here on the side of the house for the large plantings that I'm going to be doing on the south side here in this this wall right here just gets absolutely beat on by the sun. Uh, so, what that's going to help me do is capture water here. Now, over on, uh, I'm going to be having trees encompass the entire perimeter of this backyard. Um, but here in the center, what I'm going to be having is my raised beds here, or um, kind of off on the side center. But these are going to be my raised beds here. Uh, they're probably going to be about 15 to 20 feet in length, uh, four feet wide. I'm gonna have two of them, and that's kind of on a on a raised platform here. I wanted it raised up because over here on the side, in the low area, I'm gonna have some trees, and these are gonna be my um, my specialty fruit trees um, from uh, Dave Wilson's nursery, uh, Zeiger Farms uh, species of uh, stone fruits, and uh, they are gonna be. Hopefully amazing, but I'm gonna have to provide a lot of shade for them. But they're gonna be no more than about seven feet high, probably you know up here, and then um, it'll get plenty of sunlight in the winter time um, up here on the raised beds that are on the elevated platform. Um, so that way I can get a good growing season in the winter here in Arizona. But uh, as you can see, you know it's elevated, and in the low areas I have. You know, over here, the entire perimeter of the, of the yard is a little bit lower. And so that will capture any runoff that comes either off the garden space or um, off this main area here, which is going to end up being AstroTurf um, and some pathways. And then also in the back corner over here is going to be a pergola that we're going to try. I'm going to build up, time willing. Um, probably build up a pergola outdoor kitchen area right here but um anyways all these these the hard the hard landscape or you know it's gonna be brick or concrete from the pergola that's gonna want to drain or shed off off to the outside here and off to the back and hopefully that will help irrigate any of the um or provide some some water and flush out the salts from the salty water here uh, in yuma so Anyways, the water will spill out towards the back of the fence there. And uh, if you look at this fence, I wouldn't worry about it structurally. Um, about di we didn't really dig out here. Um, what it was is that we actually brought it to the level grade there. Most of this dirt here, the excess, was brought in from the uh, front yard. Um, and then also from digging out the space here right off the patio. is actually bringing it down. Um, towards the initial elevation of the ground um, but on the side yard once again what we have is kind of a, a funneling effect where the ground is higher on the outside and so it sheds water away from the house and down here and then they run off it'll run off down here towards the low areas and we have some low areas right here where we're going to capture the water and uh, that's where we're going to have some planting. So all over here I got some all of my trees waiting to be planted that I've brought with me from uh, from Texas and so this is these are the wamochil and these are actually probably doing the best out of everything. Got a kumquat, some goji berry, some pomegranate, I got my apples, this is uh, the Anna Apple, the Dorset Golden, uh, the Ein Shimmer. I got uh, Persian, Persian Lime here, a lemon, kind of a bush form right now. And then I got two orange trees, a navel, and an Arizona Sweet, and then uh, two grapes there, a flame and a Thompson Seedless. So all these will be going in soon, um, hopefully, uh, probably before the end of the winter. And um, 
yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a rundown here on uh, how things were going.